was here once in 1969 playing water polo and uh, I've been back as a tourist and as a filmmaker but I have never been back with the Maccabea Games and it's unique to be back here part of the Maccabea Games and uh, I'm going to keep this up. Uh, I've allowed 32 years to go in between one Maccabea and another but from now on it's just four years at a time and I'll be here. Maccabi Canada is one of the best kept secrets in the Jewish community. We believe that sport is an ideal medium to foster Zionism amongst particularly our young people. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Thousands of athletes come to Israel to participate in two weeks of athletic achievement and cultural activities. And that's just the beginning of a lifetime of memories. Memories made possible by Maccabee Canada, a national non-profit organization dedicated to enriching the lives of the young people of the community. But sports are a means to an end. We are trying to have the athletes get a real sense of pride in their Judaism, a real closeness to the state of Israel. Maccabee Canada was founded in 1950 to promote athletic excellence and cultural pride in Jewish young people across the country. That general sense of identity, that general sense of being with other Jewish athletes from around the world and with Israeli athletes is an experience that lives with anyone who's been there and which has a major impact on a, a number of our younger athletes and in many cases it's been a singular influence in turning them on to what Israel is all about, what their Jewish identity is all about and what their place within the overall Jewish community is. The torch of the Maccabea is still aflame into the new millennium. This same torch has lit the way for young emerging Jewish sports stars every four years and witnessed unforgettable moments still cherished throughout the world. I was just doing uh, my running for school, but then I got involved in the Maccabee Games and uh, as a result of my involvement in Maccabee Games, I was able to develop it further and eventually I reached the national level. And as, as a result of uh, the support and uh, uh, help I got from Maccabee Canada, I was able to go to Israel back in 1993. It was a highlight of my athletic career. I participated in uh, middle long distance running. I did the 1500, the 5000, 10,000. Uh, I was lucky enough to win all three of them. And uh, at the same time, I was able to visit Israel for the first time and meet a lot of Jewish people from all over the world. It was a very exciting time. While aspiring to athletic excellence, Maccabee Canada reinforces the identity of young Jewish Canadians and strengthens their bond to Israel. It puts uh, athletes, young athletes, in a position where they want to excel, and as Jewish athletes, to compete in the Maccabee Games in Israel uh, is a special thing for them. Maccabee Canada selects and prepares a national team to compete at the Maccabee Games held every four years in Israel, as well as for the Pan American Games, also held every four years in various cities in South America. Maccabee Canada supports annual JCC Maccabee Youth Games throughout North America. In 1969, I went to the Maccabee Games for the first time as an athlete, and the thrill of marching into Ramat Gan Stadium was something that has stayed with me and probably will always stay with me. And I wanted to make sure that I gave that opportunity to other young people in the future. And just seeing their faces and seeing how they react to coming to Israel, to marching into that stadium, the pride that they feel and coming home with such a sense of purpose of making sure that they tell their story to other people. And this leads to other people going to Israel and becoming involved with our organization. For 
For more than 50 years, Maccabee Canada has sent thousands of Jewish young people to the Maccabee Games. Each Games is unique, yet something similar happens in all. Every participant journeys to Israel and returns with a clear understanding of their heritage, ancestry, and religion. One of the most significant accomplishments is to see young Jewish kids uh, or Jews of any age who have not really had a full appreciation of what Israel is all about and what the Jewish identity is all about, to see them through the medium of sport and through the medium of interacting with other Jewish athletes uh, suddenly have a totally different and much more positive perspective of who they are and what their role is within our community. I think that's really important. The extraordinary partnership of sports and culture gives Maccabee Canada the amazing opportunity to make a difference in the development of young Jews across the country. It is a powerful life source that sparks the Jewish community of tomorrow. We read about the country, but when you watch them, how they live, the kibbutz, uh, I visit all that, and uh, to me, uh, I'm very fortunate to be a big part of it. And, uh, to those who work so hard, to those who contribute financially, uh, it's, a, it's a great organization, it's a great association that's doing so much and so many good things for the younger generation. So I congratulate them. Besides helping me in exploring my athletic uh, career and capability, it also allows me to meet different people from different backgrounds. Uh, as a Jewish person, it helped me uh, establish and learn uh, more about uh, uh, the culture. I recommend it for anybody, obviously, especially young people, because it's very easy to get lost in this world, and uh, it's good to have a direction like that. It's a very friendly uh, competition. When you're, when you're competing, you're competing, but afterwards, uh, when the competition's over, you've got this uh, amazing camaraderie and connection that uh, is very unique. What lies ahead for these Canadian athletes is the thrill of representing their country at an international sporting event while discovering a renewed commitment to Israel and their Jewish heritage. When we marched into Teddy Stadium in Jerusalem in 2001 for the Maccabi Games uh, last summer, uh, I had tears in my eyes uh, because I thought it was very, very important for us to be there in a, in a time when, uh, when the Israelis were under fire. Uh, my motto at that time, my line was that every person who went to Israel as part of the Maccabi team deserved the gold medal, whether they won it or not, they deserved the gold medal. Maccabee Canada's message of athletic excellence and cultural pride is especially poignant to the Jewish community today. Maccabee's activities are a powerful catalyst, forging the fiber between the State of Israel and Jews worldwide. Maccabee Canada is an amazing organization which creates all sorts of opportunities, culturally, educationally, and perhaps most importantly, in terms of our mandate, through the medium of sport, to enhance and embellish Jewish identity. And what we're hoping to do over the next several years is to broaden that mandate to get people to understand more of what we're all about and hopefully to get them turned on to the organization in a way which will help them to support us and uh, help us in turn to do all of the things that we want to do, which we need to do and which I think are extremely valuable to do. It's just great to be here at Kibbutz Gezer. David Leishman and his colleagues done such a great job. They built this field of dreams and damn it all, it's fabulous.